music pumping, and then they're focused on the next part of, of their preparation. Could not have drawn a better day. This stadium is going to fill right up, and we are ready to go with the 2021 AFL Grand Final. Let's get down to ground level for the pre-match entertainment. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to the 2021 Toyota AFL Grand Final here at the Optus Stadium. Please welcome Uncle Richard Wally, Elder of the Wachuk people, traditional owners of the Noongar Nation. Uncle Richard will now conduct... A
this cup is our keeper of history. Great to have your company wherever you are in Australia and indeed around the world. History being made in the West. The first time the Argyle Grand Final has ever been played here at this incredible stadium. It is the Demons and the Dogs and we welcome two Brownlow medal winning superstar Nate Pipe up to this part of the ground for the first time. Pipe, welcome to you. Thanks for having me, JB. We're at this goosebump stage now, aren't we? You can see the entertainment building in the crowd. The players will be really ready to rip in. I think you know how good this stadium is. You play here every second week. It may never look better than this. Absolutely immaculate, JB. We've had a really good week leading in. The groundsmen have got it prepared well. Once this sun dips down, there'll be no shadows. It'll be perfect. What's going on in the players' minds in this room right now? It's, uh, they're trying to keep it as normal as possible, JB, even though everyone knows it's the biggest game of a lot of their life so far. What they've had, they've got the music pumping up and down there, just going through their normal routine of running back and forth. And we've seen throughout the build-up the fact they've played basketball, they've played soccer, they've tried to keep themselves entertained, but this is where the heart's starting to pump, the nerves are there, the butterflies are in the stomach. Some of them are starting to feel sick, Bobby. Well, you've got to watch that arousal level, don't you, Hodgie? Some will be up and about ready to rip into it. The senior players, they'll be calm and composed, thinking about executing. We see Maxi Gorn on, start on camera there. What sort of message will he have to his players before they go out? I think it's pretty much just reiterating what the coaches said throughout the week. You don't want to go and throw anything up to the players that they haven't heard. So it's just about playing your role, keeping composed. Yes, it's going to be a loud crowd. So all the simple little things that they did throughout the season, they've just got to continue to focus on because hands down throughout the final series, they've probably, probably been the best team just by doing that. So simple message, whatever Goody's been telling them, whatever the coach has been telling them, that's what Max has been telling them. Is there 57 years of history weighing on the Demons? Can they put that out of their mind? Maybe it's weighing, maybe it's the moment momentum they need into the finals to drag them through. Certainly, as we spoke about off camera, if they get to halftime and the dogs are a sniff, that might creep into the players' minds. But at the moment, Gorney will be winding them up saying, we've got all the people behind us. We've got the history. It's our time. And the subs today uh, is Vandermeer is going to be for the doggies and Jordan. So two young guys who are going to be sitting down waiting to get their opportunity. Hopefully it's not until later in the game, but both of them will be eager, ready to do whatever is necessary. But we look at in there, you can sort of see Bond at the back of the room hit bodies. Pfeiffer, you know better than anyone else here. How do you match up against Pfeiffer? What will the D's try and do to try and exploit him? Uh, it's a tough question to match up on Bond. He's so good in many areas. If you put someone to him, they can go forward and kick goals. If you leave him alone, he accumulates. And the other thing with their midfield, they've got five or six they get sent to. Libertore, McRae, they've got a number of players that go through there. I think they look pretty calm in the room. Soji, what do you reckon? Yeah, how, how would you see Bailey Smith? So he's obviously a young fellow who's jumped onto the scene. He's kicked seven goals the last two games. Maybe has that made you think Goodwin might be going across to a Bailey Smith? It might free up or a McRae or, or one of the others? Possibly. Generally in finals, as you know, it's a wait-and-see type approach. Bailey Smith has been playing more up around the stoppage and then releasing getting caught. They would have scouted him. They know what's coming to Bailey Smith. There's a lot of headaches there for the opposition. You also get the feeling with the Western Bulldogs, Hodgie, that they think there's nothing they can't do. They've done it five years ago, the most incredible fashion to win a flag. Lost their last three this year and then have been emphatic in the final series. They've just got a wave of momentum again behind them. It is, and then that's that better us versus you mentality. He'll be telling his players that they've had the best prep. They have played finals, they played the home night season, they got through the three finals, they had the bye last week to freshen up. He'll be telling his players that Melbourne are underdone. If we strike first, if we get that first punch on them, they won't know what hit them. The game against the game against Geelong was an easy hit out for them and then they've had one game in 28 days leading into the biggest game of the season. So that's what Bevo will be telling them, making sure that they come hard and ready to go. Two very experienced umpires and one in his first AFL grand final. We wish them well. Do you buy into the 28 days, one game thing, Nathan? Well, I think they'll be turning the script into a positive point, though. They'll be trying to throw the first punch, get out there, physically smash them, and so later in the game they'll have the wheels to go, but it's whatever narrative you spin your team on. Only one player to have played in an AFL Grand Final for the Demons, and that was Jake Lever for Adelaide. And, and this is probably the worst part, because you've gone through, you've done your warm-up, and now you've got to wait. You've got to wait for the other team to run out, or, or you sit back, you see the folks go out there and just pat each other on the back saying, good luck, mate, you know what you've got to do. The defenders are in the back corner talking. 
and you just sort of sit and wait for your chance to run out in front of this massive crowd. And then you come out, you've got the photo, you've got the banner, you've got to absorb what the crowd throws at you, then you've got to line up for the national anthem. They need to keep their arousal levels right under control. You're both captains in that situation when you get out there and the photos are done and everything's done and you're just in the huddle, what are you saying at that point? It's pretty much just uh, just keep it, keep it level. Make sure you, you go out there, and as I've said, you've got to throw the first punch and make sure you're on the front foot and ready to go. If you're second to the contest, if they're breaking your tackles, they get confidence and they start getting their crowd behind them, and off they go. So it's making sure that you're ready for anything that the opposition will throw at you. Freo, oh sorry, Freo, uh, Melbourne, of course, two weeks ago won a final at this venue. Nathan, does that mean anything? The Dogs haven't played a final here yet. Oh, they'll be confident. Track record looks pretty good for the Ds, but the, the uh, Bulldogs are bulletproof, aren't they? They love their travelling all over the place. Throw any challenge at them, they'll absorb it. So at the moment, I think it's neck and neck. Petrarca, a big game player. You just get the feeling he might explode on the biggest stage. And he's prime for it. The season he's had... He's very calm. I spoke to him earlier in the week and he was so relaxed. And I was sitting there going, mate, it's a first grand final. But he goes, we know what to expect. He goes, we know what we've got to do for one another. But what we've done throughout the season so far, what we did in the prelim final against Geelong, we've just got to do that. Be the first of the football, work, as one, one, work with one another and just make sure whatever we do, we do to make sure our teammates better on the day. Somehow Aaron Norton has slid a little under the radar as we get ready for this game. He was superb two weeks ago. Great at contest. That's what they need from Aaron Norton. He'll fly at any think you'll mark a few maybe kick a couple but grading that contest down the line and going inside 50 is what he'll need for his day. You see Stefan Martin there, they got him in to help English develop yeah. and he's got a big job. Maxi Gorn, who was tore this place apart last week, everyone in Perth talked about Maxi Gorn because of what he was able to do. Steph Martin is going to crash and bash, make sure whatever Gorn he does, he's got someone right beside him who won't give him an inch of space. Very classy man, Marcus Fonsapelli. You reckon you've heard noise? Just stand by. The noise at this venue is quite extraordinary, and here come the Western Bulldogs. It's a grand old fag 
Goodwin will be a premiership coach. Melbourne the Bulldogs met twice in front of no one this year. This week they meet in front of everyone. Down to you, Daisy, with the coach. Oh, goody, we both know how many Melbourne fans are sitting on their couches, desperate to be here. Take them inside the rooms, give them something. What was your last message to the boys? Oh, the last message was just pretty simple. Let's be honest, let's do our people proud. Let's go, look, get the game looking our way and we'll be right. You ready? is excited. There is absolutely no doubt about that. I've never seen a crowd get as involved. They were in early for the pre-game entertainment, which, by the way, was absolutely superb. And they are enjoying every moment of this. We have absolutely perfect conditions in this stadium today. And we have the two best teams in the competition about to go head-to-head. -head. What a sight. Look at that. Sun going down the west. Still trying to contain the excitement of these players and not spend it in this warm-up. Warm up, as I heard Nathan Fife say before.